Hey, welcome back to Great Day. Well, a lot of the kids in the area are getting ready to head back to school, and many parents are wondering what they can do to keep their kids safe from COVID-19. Dr. Jason Newland is a Washington University pediatric infectious disease physician at the wonderful St. Louis Children's Hospital, and he joins us this morning with some tips. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk to us this morning. Good morning, thanks for having me. So this is a loaded question, but is it safe for our kids to be returning to school right now amid COVID-19? Yes, it is safe. We learned last year during the heights of the pandemic in the winter time especially, that there was a number of schools that were operating very safely by putting into place these mitigation strategies or these preventative strategies that included masking, making sure we're washing our hands, using some distance, three feet's plenty. Um, and probably one of the biggest things is not having a, our students or even our teachers or staff members go to school when they were sick with cold-like symptoms. All of these things demonstrated that you could have school during a pandemic and, and keep everyone safe inside that school building. So you're saying that we should be wearing masks, that the kids should be wearing masks. I think currently with what we're seeing in our community with the surging of cases, our hospitals are filled up, our children's hospitals are filled up not only with COVID-19 cases, but other respiratory viruses that in order to protect our healthcare systems and to protect our children, especially those who are unvaccinated, mm -hmm. our best bet is, is masking. Let's not forget what we have now is vaccine, right? So we can actually increase the safety of schools because we can make sure everybody eligible gets vaccinated. But, but we still have this one group, these younger individuals, right? right those less than 12 years of age that can't be vaccinated yet. Yeah, and it's important. I mean, I'm sure you're going to con uh, condone the use of the vaccine once it is, once they do open up uh, for the younger children as well. Absolutely. I think what, what we need, though, is the data, right? We need the data to demonstrate that the vaccine is safe in those children less than 12. And so it's important for us to continue to let the science be done so that we have that so, we'll, so that myself, all of those, all of your list or watchers out or viewers out mm -hmm. there that have children of that age can be can trust in the vaccine and the safety of that vaccine, just as we trust in the safety of this vaccine for you, me, my teenage children, and other people's mm -hmm. uh, children that can get the vaccine. So, other than the rules that the that the local schools uh, have in place, uh, what else can we as parents do? to help keep our kids safe? Well, I think we have, we can do many things, right? Number one is that um, if our kids are gonna be around like large gatherings indoors with, with potentially groups that we don't know their vaccination status, that masking provides that extra level of protection. I think additionally, we can make sure that we keep, if we're sick, we stay in, mm. just as well as we encourage our friends and family members that if they're sick, that they stay in, meaning staying in their homes and not exposing. There are a lot of respiratory viruses out there currently. Sure. And I think the less the less the transmission is occurring, I think the safer we're all gonna be, especially since we're seeing so much COVID-19. Dr. Newland, thank you so much. We really appreciate your expertise. Take care. Yep, you too, thanks for having me. Have we're, a great day. You too. We are going to post this segment on our website, kmob.com slash great day following the show.